on guys, it's Nick here from MigratIphone.com and today we're going to bring you a video on how to jailbreak your iDevices with Lime Rain. Now I know I said that this was going to be released on Monday in the previous video. This was actually, actually, uh, this was actually um, released on Saturday by Geohot so it was released a few days early and I think the reasons behind that was simply to stop the Chronic Dev team from wasting their Shatter exploit which I believe is a better exploit. So he released it early so that then they might change their exploit to the one using Lime Rain, and then obviously they can save the Shatter exploit for when Apple decide to patch the exploit using Lime Rain. And then after they've patched that, we will still have an exploit and obviously we can still have a jailbreak available. So that's that out of the way. You don't if you don't understand, don't really need to know about that, just for the, those guys if you want to hear that extra information. So this jailbreak is for the iPhone 3GS, new boot ROM and old boot ROM the iPad Touch 3G, the iPad, the iPhone 4 and the iPad Touch 4G so they're all the devices that uh, don't need enable, don't need to be enabled uh, with multitasking and wallpapers it's all there when you actually are on your 4.0 firmware so it is for 4.0 and to 4.1 and obviously beyond and basically guys this is only for Windows at the moment it isn't only in beta stage, it's at beta 4 right now I'm going to show you on beta 4 I wasn't actually going to show you in beta until it's finally released and show you that one but I decided to go ahead and show you in beta and if I get any errors or anything like that we will show you how we can overcome them. So like I said it's only for Windows, Mac should be coming very soon probably in the final release. So that's pretty much everything you need to know. You will, I'm going to be on 4.1 on my iPhone 4 so let's just open up settings real quick and show you I am on 4.1 and as you can see down there version 4.1. So we're going to do it on the iPhone 4 as you can see, I do have a skin on it but you can see that's the iPhone 4 and um, we're going to show you right now how to use Lime Rain. So the Lime Rain application is on LimeRain.com as I showed you, it's slightly different but the link will be in the description down below, again only for Windows but if you want to go and try this jailbreak out at Beta 4, you can go down to the link in the description and download Lime Rain application. Okay, So once you've downloaded it you can see the little droplet right here this is the Lime Rain application, so we're going to open it up and make sure you run. Okay, so you'll get this little pop-up right here. Now just before we start, I have tried this before with iTunes 9 and it didn't work for some reason. It ran through the whole process, but as I booted up, I didn't have any jailbreak and the device was left how it was before I even ran the Lime Rain application. So we're going to try it with iTunes 10 now and hopefully this should work. So if it does work with iTunes 10, then you would know you need to update to iTunes 10 or above. Okay, so we have the application open and you just want to make sure your device is connected via USB so we're going to connect it and it might bring up iTunes, if it does don't need to worry, just minimise it and um, we can actually start the jailbreak process so we're connected via USB Okay, so all we're going to do is click make it rain on the application and it should say waiting for device and now entering into recovery so it will enter your device into recovery mode on your device and as you can see on the window it will tell you step by step what to do. Now this isn't like Black Rain or Purple Rain those applications like are like from Geohot this is actually slightly different it might look the same but there are a few extra steps and you'll come to that right now on the application as well so don't worry if iTunes pops up we can just minimize that for now and all you need to do is hold down the home and power button for around about six seconds that will follow the you will have instructions on the application and it will tell you what to do so we're going to hold down the home and power button until it tells us otherwise. So around about six seconds and it will tell you to release the power button but keep your thumb on the home button. So you need to do that. And you'll hear these chimes and as soon as the application tells you you're in DFU mode you can release your thumb off the home button. Again iTunes might pop up but we can just close out of that and let it do its thing. So it now says it's exploiting and as you can see you will get the Lime Rain droplet on your device. Once you have that Lime Rain droplet you will know the jailbreak is done and as you see a little pop up and it will say your jailbreak is ready. So we can close out of Lime Rain now and just click done and let our device boot up. Now if you, like I said guys, I tried it on iTunes 9 and I didn't get anywhere. I didn't get the little droplet so obviously iTunes 10 works so now you need to boot it back up after it's dead just boot the device back up and you should have the Lime Rain application on your device 
so just let it do its thing okay so as you can see we've booted up so we're going to slide to unlock and yes you can see my code it doesn't really matter now if you're in an iPod touch make sure you're connected via Wi-Fi but you can do that in your own steps but as you can see we have an extra application now some of you might have a little droplet for it some of you might have this white box like me it doesn't matter they both work the same so this is the lime rain application like you might have seen on black rain or purple rain this is where you install your Cydia but you know, as you can see you are jailbroken let me just show you I'm on 4.1 still general about go down you can see I'm on version 4.1 so we're going to open up the Lyman application again make sure you're connected to the internet either on Wi-Fi or 3G and you just want to click on Cydia and click install so that's what we're going to do and it will download the Cydia application and install it onto your device so I hope you found this tutorial simple to follow guys it's quite an easy application it's a lot easier than other ones out there and hopefully guys it, you get a good success rate on it now like I said I tried with iTunes 9 it didn't work at all so um, I recommend you have iTunes 10 installed on your computer and then try LimeRain again now if you happen to not have the LimeRain application on your device as you boot up then what you can do is try and reboot if you get the LimeRain droplet as you boot up and then as you turn it back on there's nothing try rebooting again and hopefully you should have the Lyman application so as you can see I didn't get Cydia but now what we're going to do is we're just going to reboot like I just mentioned and hopefully as we boot back up we'll have Cydia on our device so I think if you can follow this like I am then you should be fine with your jailbreak so again we're going to boot up and hopefully we'll have Cydia Okay, so we've booted back up. Let's just see if we have Cydia now. So as you can see, we now have Cydia. So I didn't get it the first time, but I rebooted my device and I now have Cydia. So you can open it up and it will start to reorganize. And obviously, you have to run through the same process and update it and everything. But guys, there you go. That's a tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone 3GS, new boot ROM, old boot ROM, the iPod Touch 3G, the iPad, the iPhone 4, and the iPod Touch 4G on 4.0 to 4.1 with Lime Rain. Um, so this is only for Windows at the moment, it's in beta stage, but as soon as it's out of beta I recommend, or I guess that it's going to be on Mac, sorry. Um, so if you have an Apple Mac, you're going to be able to use it as well, hopefully. So there you go guys, hope you found it easy. If you have any questions, any problems, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Um, but I can't guarantee anything, obviously. And that's about it guys. Big props to Geohot, really great jailbreak, and I'm just happy to have my jailbreak back. Okay, so we'll just launch Cydia again and when you get to this I recommend to just put click developer and you have no filters so they have everything available to you and as you can see Cydia loads up all good and proper and you should have your Cydia application working fine for you okay so when you get to this what I want you to do is click complete upgrade don't click upgrade essential click complete upgrade so the one in the middle click confirm and this will after tell you to I think respring your device so there you go guys Cydia is working and um, that's it Lime Rain jailbreak thanks all for watching make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys real soon have a great day